Hello, everybody. Welcome to episode 11, All the Mods 7. In this episode, we're expanding power, energy storage, and a little secret of a nugget. All right, last few episodes, I've been working on power. Uh, I've been working on various machines. I've been working on energy generation. Now I want to expand on that generation for a, a bit more passive as well as storage. Um, I'm noticing that once I'm out of energy, I'm out of energy until my machines can regenerate all of it. So I need a little bit of a backup. And the way I figure I can do that and to do it wirelessly is through uh, fl flux networks. So in order to do that, I have to do, I have to change a lot of redstone into flux dust. Um, I know in other mod packs, there was ways to get this to, uh, that I could have like a block that I could move and make this like re, what am I looking for here? Uh, I could redo this without having to pick this up because now I have to pick this up and this is kind of lame. So I guess what I could do here is maybe toss one there, toss one there, toss one there. Man, eh, nope. Why is this, why is it not letting me throw it? Okay. <laughs> oh, and it changed. Seriously. That's lame. I didn't know it did that. Oh, wow. I'm going to be going through some obsidian, I guess. It yeah, didn't do it to that one. I don't know if it's just like a, a chance. Uh, the other mod packs that I've I've done this with were, uh, huh, okay, it they were sky blocks and they they had other ways to deal with this. So I never had to mess with them turning into. Why is it doing that? Mess with uh, them turning into cobblestone. I don't understand why it's doing that. It seems to be quite often because I've now done it numerous times and. Only two times has it been obsidian. That's fine. Glad I brought uh, extras. I wasn't sure if anything was going to happen, but I came prepared. Wow. Is there like a percent chance on that happening? Because that's, that's a little nuts. So that's the game plan. I want to make... A flux network now in order to do that I need a bunch of things uh, but real quick since I have it in my inventory in between last episode and this I went on a crafting spree if you will for a little bit of charms all right I, I made these you, you saw those but this one I figured I had one ancient debris from a while ago. I don't even remember which one it was. It was probably one of the first videos after we went to the nether. I had an ancient debris. And with an ancient debris, you can use my setup that we have going on and produce more. Where is it? So I put it into enrichment chamber. Wait, did I do that? Because I got three. How did I get three? Yeah, oh, yeah, here we go. I put it into the crusher. I got three of those. That goes into the enrichment chamber, which gives me another right scrap, and that's what we what I turned into another right. Now, what I did with that was I made a charm out of it, so that way I could go farm more. And I, I just went a little bit ham on farming, um, and I only found fifteen ancient debris. 
but that is a lot f for early. So I want to get that started. Uh, so that's Crusher into Enrichment into that, right? All right, so the reason why I even want this in the first place is because I found something. But let's get that, that started first. I found some Aldemodium, but I can't harvest it until I have another right pick. Why are you not sending out? Ah, I wonder how much that's actually going to be. I think that's going to be 35. So, no. Oh, yeah, 40. Yeah, 45. So just over 11 ingots worth. Now, I don't know if I can do... I don't know if I can do this. I'm curious. I know eventually I can just... Okay, you're not... I'm so confused now. Uh... Hmm. Why... What got all messed up here? Why is this not working? Huh? Why would, why? Why would that even matter? Whatever. <laughs> that's fine. Now it's going. Oh, that's on. Crap. Just been wasting durability on that. Yikes. Don't forget to turn off your charms, kid. All right, so now that I have some of this, let's see here. I need, I guess it's just four and that. So four, go with some gold. Um, can I do this? I'm assuming I'm going to have to have three in the nether or in the, for the silent gear equipment. One more, come on. I hope that's not the case because that's kind of expensive. Because um, I believe it's just a diamond pick and then one netherite ingot to make it a netherite thing. Mm -hmm. All right, so how how do you work? Because you're not you're not giving me that. Hmm. Am I able to do what I want to do with it? See, this would make it seem like I could. Okay, let's. Do I have that smithing table? Can I make a smithing table? I don't know if I have one to be honest with you, so let's just make one. Can I just do this? Huh. I can. But 
Netherite diamond pickaxe. Will this allow me to mine it though? Harvest level for Azure silver. It is higher. Uh, the other thing I'm noticing here is I, I don't think the, the rod changes. Cannot be destroyed when dropped in lava. Yep, that's the netherite trait. Well, let's let's give it a shot. Worst case scenario, I just wasted a. Well, I say wasted. Uh, worst case scenario, I just spent netherite ingot on my pickaxe. All right. So all the modium. And I have fortune too. You gotta be kidding me. Of course there would be. Why wouldn't there be? <laughs> Alright, so looks like maybe just one. And I literally get only one. <clears throat> Yikes! Okay. Well, for now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go home here and I'm going to utilize this. And this is going to get turned into a charm. All right. So let's see. Can we... Where is it? So this goes into the purification chamber. That goes into the crusher. So I'm going to get two. Can I get more out of that somewhere? I could just do that to get two. So is it worth it to even try to use my machines? Doing it the crusher route. I get two anyway, so might as well just use the hammer. Uh, if I had three, this would be worse off because I could end up with six instead of four, so that just seems like bad math. Yeah, uh, I guess let's just go with the hammer to cut down on processing. And then this... I should be able to, hmm, is it, how do I make that? Okay, so I need to make it into an ingot first before I can do that. That's fine. So I now have two. One of these can actually get turned into nuggets. So that's great. So let's make this. I need that. Oh, I'm out of the ender dust. I don't know why it does that. That's kind of frustrating. Uh, let's just just go with quite a few of them because I got endless amounts of ender pearls now. Once I get this crafted, yo, what happened to my my uh, all the modium? Once I get this crafted, I can craft something else to show you. Uh, and we can go to another dimension. Ooh, do I have water bottles left over? Uh, maybe not. 
Well, let's go make some. So with those nuggets, I'm going to craft, uh, what is it? It's uh, all the modium dimension. And it's supposed to be, I believe, a mountainous biome all throughout. So it'll just have all the modium, not all over the place, but it'll be in numerous places, allowing us to a little bit easier farm it. Um, but I don't want to go through there and just manually farm a lot. Um, I, I'm going to need to find a few. But part of the reason why I want all of the armor, not not the armor, all of the power, is because I want to make a builder. A builder takes four all the modium nuggets. So out of the out of that, uh, let's see. I need. Oh, I didn't add it to my list already. Where did that plate go? Mm. This mod actually has a lot of items. There we go. This teleport pad also takes four. So I'm wondering here if what I should do is try to make the mining gadget because the mining gadget takes two. Uh, this takes two. So I could finally make a mining gadget and make a silk touch mining gadget. Now, I don't know how expensive that is on energy, but I could do it. That, that might be the route I go because I've been wanting to try out that that mining gadget. I don't know why the mining gadget one mark one, two, and three all cost the same. I don't know what the difference is between the three of them because they all have the same, basically the same uh, uh, crafting. Like, look, look, it's the only difference here is it's actually not shapeless it, it requires a specific shape because notice here that we have a, a gold ingot in the top right iron ingot there here it's reversed here it's both gold i don't know what the difference is so i guess i'm just gonna go with mark three let's see how this pans out hopefully i don't screw myself here uh i need glass And then I should just make panes. Yep. I think I need two of these, right? Because this takes one. Yeah. Ah, uh, whoops. <laughs> one, one, two. Let's go for an another one for a safe measure. One. Oh man, okay. Lapis. One, two. Try that again. Go with that. And then go with that. And I finally have it. And now. Ooh. All right. I don't know the key bindings for this, so let's take a look up. 
real quick to see what they are. Category mining gadget. Shift left control. Hmm. Uh, fade blocks, shrink blocks. Oh, I can change the color. That's pretty neat. A little strange that does that. Can we go with a darker purple? And then maybe a brighter purple? Something like that. Uh, I don't really want to try it in my base. Okay, that's charged. Let's go down to the... Oh yeah, I also found something that gives me night vision. So I don't have to worry about lighting things up now for everyone. Oh, that's weird. Okay. So now the question is how, why didn't I see the keybinds for it? Precision mode, volume, gadget settings, toggle upgrades. No upgrades available. Oh, does this mod I probably have to do it in the modification. Oh, you son of a... Well, I guess that means I screwed myself a little bit here. <laughs> because I cannot make another one of those because I need to make... The tablet. All the... Not that I would have been able to... Why didn't that work? All the modium, that's why. Uh, teleport. I already had it over on their side. Let's craft this and give it a look. Uh, for now, I guess we just put it there. How do I use this? <laughs> I thought it was sneak. Apparently it's not. Okay. After a very short little jaunt, uh, it's shift right click. I don't know where it explains that, but um, oh, well, that's wonderful. Uh, how do I make a waypoint? I thought it was P. I guess not. Way home. So the way this dimension works is it's literally just a mining dimension. It's as far as I can tell, it should be all mountainous. I know it doesn't look mountainous, but this is a mountain biome that just happens to be flat. And it should allow me to find all the modium. Um, since I have this. I can do that relatively easy, though I'm not gonna do that on camera. I just wanted to show you that we now have the dimension for it. So back here, actually, let me put this away so I don't accidentally do something with it. Back here, part of what I wanted all the modium for, again, is the builder as well as the Mark III that I crafted. Uh, but I have to craft all of the, the stuff for the flux network. So 
this is going to take quite a bit of resources. That's fine. We can make, let's just go with 32 of these for now. Flux block one. Just do one of those for now. One of those for now. Go away, please. Flux controller. Yep, let's do that. So I'm going to need five blocks and five. Does that mean I'm out of, I'm out of something. I don't know what that was. Ah, yeah. Okay. That's fine. Okay. And then I can do one of these. Uh, I need some more of those. So if I need, I need six of these. So I need 30 of those total and I need 24 of these and I have three. I believe in the quest book, there's actually a reward for getting this done too. Excellent. So now let's go here, go here. And then, okay, well, I mean, it's, it's something, it's nothing too amazing, but it's something. All right. Uh, I wanted to do passive power, but in order to do that, I wanted to go with wind generators and then take it all the way up to max height. The reason why I want to do that is because it, it should generate quite a bit and these are relatively cheap. So I'm going to craft a few of these and I was contemplating attempting to craft these, but they're, I think they feel a little bit more involved perhaps. I'll look into that, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to craft quite a few of these. I don't know how many, uh, I'll math it out and figure it out. I'm going to have some electrical pipes and then what's going to happen is I'm going to set up my network which I guess for right now it's just going to be right there. Let's set this up here. Network settings. How do I I always forget how to craft a network setting. Create new network. There we go. Don't care about that. I guess I have to Put a password in. I don't know why this is a single player world. <laughs> okay, so now that's active. Um, select that. Now that's purple. And then I can just drop these real quick just to set them. I don't know if they lose the network if I break them, but that's fine. Uh, but once I get the windmills generated, I'll make a platform way up top and I'll bring you right back before I take you to go see the somewhat early insane setup that I have for power. I want to show you something. Uh, I keep forgetting about the quest book and I, I happen to notice the quest book was, uh, had a mark. So I came in here and I noticed that these were accessible. Now, the one that really doesn't make sense to me, and I don't know why it's here is this. Why would I craft an all the modium site to get a coal site? And it's just one. So I can't even make, um, I can't even make a, a charm with it. <laughs> 
Uh, that one confuses me. But these two, this one just gives me a straight up ingot. This one gave me a dust, which means an ingot. And this one gave me a nugget. So in my inventory, I have those. Uh, which means I can craft the other thing that I was looking for for the mining gadget to be able to mess around with that. Because this happens to take, uh, okay, this happens to take two. Why am I terrible at this? And why is that even a thing? Why is that there? Are, the, are those eventually used for something? Like, why do I have compressed? And now we have that. Uh, that's a plug. You know what? I, I guess for now, let's just make a point. It's going to be useful in the very near future anyway. Hopefully this works. Or maybe you just don't need power. I honestly, I assumed you needed power. Click upgrade shift click to insert from your slots or drop upgrade onto this screen. Does this mean that this now has soap touch? Because it does. Okay. Now, how, what mining level can this get to? That, that's something I'm going to have to figure out. Okay. That's really cool. I'm glad that that's a thing. I will mess with that more in the very near future. But my power, I use an elevator which allows me to go all the way up here <laughs> i have 16 of these things also i decided to create some solar generators um they're not too good comparatively speaking uh each one of them only generates 116 or so during the day at max peak these are generating 384 each so with the windmills, I'm generating something over 4,000 per tick. So really everything else is kind of pointless for the time being. It is adding a little bit, so there's that. Uh, but yeah, those windmills are, are pretty, pretty nice. All right, so now I can craft that builder. Because I have all the modium ingots. And of course, I don't run that in the 3x3. Three three. So I need... I have the machine frame. Don't I? Mm, what did I do with the machine frame? I know I crafted it. Well, that's going to drive me nuts. I know for certain I crafted one. Oh, whatever. They're cheap enough. I'll just make another one, I guess. I'm sure I'll find a need for it. All right, so one, two, three. And bam, builder. So the way this is going to work is I get to basically quarry an entire area. Now, just to make sure this, I'm not going to put it all together on this episode, but you can at least see how it's going to work. I have to have a shape card and then I, I determine the shape that I want to mine. I'll end up making it so that way it's like mining here 
all the way out that way for like 100 blocks or something like that, 100 by 100, and all the way down. Now, if you notice, it's Y75 right now. I'm not sure if this particular dimension adheres to the new rules, but if so, it goes down to negative 64. So if I just make it uh, like 100 blocks in all three directions, it'll cover it. And the thing that can't happen is those can't mine all the modium. So all the modium is just going to float in the air. And then I go mine it. So yeah, with that, uh, we've made a lot of progress. Um, I, I want to start jumping into magic. Uh, I was thinking maybe mixing mystical agriculture with Ars Nouveau. Uh, because every tick of this plant growing up counts towards uh, Ars Nouveau's um, source collection, I believe. If I understand Ars Nouveau correctly. Uh, so I'm going to get that set up and make it kind of look neat, I'm hoping. Um, the other thing that I, I did learn Let's see here. Uh, these, the growth accelerators, they are, you can stack them underneath. So with the ones that work up to 24 blocks, you can have like up to 24 of those underneath. And then you can start having the other ones that work up like up to 36 blocks away and then up to 64, whatever the combination is. And it doesn't matter what level, what tier they are, whether it's inferior or superior, they all provide the same exact uh, tick rate increase. So what that means is I could have 64 growth accelerators below each farmland, but only the last little bit of them would need to be supremium. So what I'll probably end up doing is combining... Okay, I thought it was nighttime. Maybe it just turned night or day. Yeah, no, it did. Okay. I'll end up combining uh, some the beginning of Aros Nouveau and maybe use this as my my source generation. I'll probably craft a bunch of growth accelerators to help accommodate. Yeah. Uh, with that, we're going to leave it here. Drop a like. Drop a comment. Thanks for chilling.